on the road, yep. Yeah. Back again. Another week and another chance to witness the beautiful game that is football. In this one, we're travelling to Hertfordshire. More specifically, Royston. Royston Town, that is. More on that in a bit. But in case you missed last week's upload, we was at Later Town Football Club. Good one, wasn't it? Well, if you missed it, you wouldn't know. But it was a good one. And in this one, as always, we asked for 10,000 likes. It's always the target. We strolled up with back-to-back -back losses, but... <laughs> yes! Get in! Over 11,000 of you hooligans absolutely delivered. Thank you so much. And it's another win on the table. We're in a league of our own. We're back to winning ways. Yes, squad. Brilliant. I know we suffered a couple of losses, but I'm fairly sure that we can take top spot this year. Let's not forget about who we'll be doing that with. Of course, it's our sponsors for the season. Utility Energy. Where as you can see, a power in British football. Look at the amount of partnerships they've got with all these different clubs. From the top to the very bottom, it doesn't matter. Over the course of time, we'll hopefully be working closer with these clubs and producing content over on their YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check it out. The link is in the description below. Cool, I'm smashing through these intros now. Much more concise. Don't forget, though, people. Hit that like button, smash the 10k likes, that's what we want to hit every single week. I stand as only on the road FC. Don't forget you can subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more content. Hit the bell to be notified when a new video is out. And yeah, all covered in one minute. Should we crack on with today's video? I think we should. Where are we going? We're going to name Royston Town, who were founded in 1875. They currently find themselves in the Southern Premier League Central Division, which is the seventh tier of the English football pyramid. That's step three of non-league. They play their football at Garden Wall, which has a capacity of 5,150 of which are seated, but absolutely, definitely, 100% not here. So after travelling 40 mile an hour for ages, you get the national speed limit sign on the bloody A13, don't you? Which means, yeah, we can go 70. But we're not going to go 70 on the A13. We're going to chuck a left here at the 1089, not to be mistaken with, um, well, it took me a while to find this. But the amazing 1089 trick demonstrated and explained. Here it is, 1089. Remarkable property. Don't get it mixed up with that. As much as you know, the 1089 takes us into Little Furrock, which is my old manor in Grace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a theory. That theory is Clive's having a swift pint in the traitor's gate. Look, there's his bike. And I believe this is a regular thing. This is when we went to St. Neots. As you can see, the weather was slightly better, but there, bike. Definitely worth keeping an eye on his whereabouts. But as you can see, we're just pulling up here, letting this uh, learner car through, because right up ahead, we've got the whip restriction that nobody wants to go through. And would you look at that? We've been given the Beyonce from distance. Councilman Van wants to pop out ahead of me. No, I've got the green lights on. That's two weeks in a row we've been blessed with some good lightage. Beyonce's obviously enjoying the content and wants to smooth the journeys for us. And so it's 100 miles an hour. It's probably doing about 27 here. Yeah. And that road led us to this place, the complex, the home of, well, you all know by now. Hello. Hello. Starting route to Royston Town Football Club. One out of ten. This is going to be an absolute doddle. Let's go. First of all, it's the bloody A13. Then it's onto the big bad boy M25. Little bit of rain. Little light drizzle. Quick childhood story about caravans for you. We used to go on holiday to the same place every year called Kesinland. It's in Suffolk. I probably pronounced it wrong. Oh, by the way, pronunciation police have been out in false recently, haven't you? Here we go. Bedworth Town is actually pronounced Bedworth, but that's only by the locals. Massive foul in the previous video as well. Leaston is actually Leiston. You know what? Deep down, I think I did know that. I did. I actually did, but um, totally forgot and just went with Leaston. Apologies to anyone from Leiston that was offended by this. Anyway, caravans, what a whole lot of fun they are, right? Went to Kessinland every year. It's pronounced Kessinland. Oh, well. But anyway, en route to there, there was always so many caravans. Not that we stayed in one. We stayed in like this chalet thing. Now, I always begged my mum and dad to get a caravan so we could go other places. But more so for the journey. They could sit in the car, but I could sit in the caravan. But I was soon told that that was illegal. End of fun. And suddenly I didn't want a caravan anymore. The end. Hope you enjoyed that one. Where are we going now, Smith? I'll tell you where we're going. We're going on the M11 North towards Cambridge, Harlow and Stansted. Chaz needs a way. I told him we get off at the services. There's no services. So for now, I'd have to think about something else. Maybe taking the natural beauty here. Or even appreciate the beautiful civil engine that we're about to go under. As we continue, we found a sign. This sign says Royston. I'm pretty sure we're going to get off here. And get off here we did. We were immediately greeted with a brown sign. Plenty of things to do, it seems. I was very much tempted by the Imperial War Museum, its staff, and of course its visitors' conference centre. But listen, we've got a game to go and see, and you're coming with us. <coughs> And so we press on with some greenery. My missus would love this. Find ourselves at a roundabout, which we're going to take a roger out. Ahead of us is the picture palace, which I assume was a place that you got pictures from. Lovely pictures. People painting pictures and stuff. Maybe you got your picture taken. Maybe you got your picture painted. However, upon looking this up, it's actually a cinema, which makes total sense. You call it cinema pictures sometimes, don't you? Anywho, not far from there, we've got a roundabout. We're going to take the first exit into the town hall car park. Love it. Plenty of spaces, but I've picked my one. I'm going to have this one right here. We're going to park in a bush. Not really. Look, we're parking in a bush. On the foot. Yep, back again. I'm going to stick a pound in the machine for parking. And here's me studying my ticket. Hang on a minute. Why does it expire at three o'clock if I put in a pound? Charge all hours only till three on Monday to Saturday. So after three, it's free. Ah. Oh. After three, it's free. I could have got away with paying 60p then. Damn it. Anyway, I mentioned this before, but best feature on my car is the uh, parking ticket holder. No need to stick. Just slide it under that little plastic bit. It's brilliant. Anyway, Royston Town Football Club. Where are you? Two minute drive, nine minute walk. Let's go. That's really nice around here, isn't it? I see a sign, Royston Town Football Club. It's just down, down there. Down the garden path? No, it's down the garden walk. As we take the walk, we found the entrance. As we find the entrance, we've got some information. Starbridge is today's opponents. Let's get it on. But before we do that, we've got to sign in. Sign in via the track and trace app. We know where you've been. I've just noticed someone at this club loves laminating. I just want to let you know you've done a really good job. Just paid a tenner to get into this place. Should we go? 
This is my first views of Garden Walk. And of course, it's a big shout out to the groundsmen for making the beautiful game look beautiful. They're keeping it tidy as well. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How you been? From outside to inside, we're in a bar. We've been placed on this table with someone else. They're not here, though. But they are very, very good at crosswords. Look at that. It's all filled in. Except 16 down. The answer's faithful. We're on table service. Drinks have arrived. That's £8.80. Well, look, this guy's back. What a guy. We spoke about everything football, including him having tea with Bill Nicholson's wife. Yeah. Introducing Tony, who's here for a good time and a long time. Yes, I am. Uh, point of and a double jack Daniels from Now, normally we neck our drinks and then go and have a little mooch around the ground, but we didn't get to do that. We were chatting to Tony for so long that the game had kicked off. So here we are, leaving the bar. And whilst relatively quiet, I thought we'd check out Jerry's Burger Bar. Over there, you got the raffle, we'll get on that and all. So he's doing that little dance you do to suggest that you're cold. Like a Jerry's, though, they got ill. Jumble hot dogs, quarter pounders, half pounders, chips, bacon rolls, hot cold drinks, and ice cream. <laughs> I bought a lot. I've gone in. Seven quid on food and drink, which sounds expensive, but you'll see why in a minute. Meanwhile, we've just entered the raffle. That's another pound. We're splashing the cash. Double barrel name, number two for Royston. Charlie will be happy. Also a great number. So let's find a nice spot here in the corner, dude. You alright, mate? Yeah, just having a stretch. And here is their corner. Oh. We're of the line out today. He takes his job very seriously. Is he part of the family? We'll see. I believe for his wheels today, he's gone with 90 embos. I mean, we're right here, so how can we not check out the girth on this corner flag? It's meaty. Anyway, for context, it's Royston in the white. Starbridge is in at Milan. And wait for it. Oh, nice. Posture, form, everything on point. Part of the human ruler family because he's straight as a ruler. Do you remember I spent a lot on food? Hang on, let me get the camera right. There we go. That's a big bad boy, a half pounder right there. And I'll let you know it went down at the end of the video. Here we are, Royston's first real attack of the game from what we've seen anyway. It's the number seven. I could probably go back to that Titan lineup and find out everybody's name and do a proper commentary, but I'm not going to. I'll sod it. Go on then. Ball whipped in for Jonathan Edwards. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Yes, yeah, so a nickname for Royston is actually the Crows. We came here in the hope that there was one guy called Roy, who, like Jeff and Tately, does everything around the gaff. New balls, please. Go on, Roy, grab that. Looks like Starbridge have brought some fans. Screw it to Dave, screw it to Dave. We've got someone over here trying to convince Sue to fix the raffle. You go over here, that'll be great. It's time for Starbridge to have a go now. Burst into the box and... That's penalty. Looks like Sue ran away from that man. Actually, right here asking questions. How did they get a penalty? Oh, they just ran in the box and someone tripped them. <laughs> Cutting edge analysis. <laughs> So he's not happy if she's seen enough, but... Come on. Come on. Me and Chad just batched our raffle tickets together. We just bought another two on top. If we win, we're going 50-50 on the 50-50. It's another pound spent. All right, so we've got a kickoff. Chaz needs a toilet, so we're going to make our way all the way around the other side. And so Starbridge fans out in force today make the four-hour round trip. When I want we spot some flags. A dog at the football. What do you want? After all these years, I finally found him. I'll be over in now. Shouts for a penalty from Charlie. Oh. Not giving. Instead, composure at the back. Look at that. That was wonderful. Now we're at the other end. We can see all the Starbridge fans' flags. Star Wolves. It's a thing. And this week's section of every non-league ground has a pile of crap. Here is a pile of crap from Royston. Can't confirm what this building is. I think they're hiding something. He's Roy on the outside guarding. Just making sure nobody becomes too suspicious, you know. Greg Wallace is a Royston fan. Pass it on. And what? That's half time. I'm sure Tony's in that queue. Or already inside. We'll pass this time. We're actually at the food bar. Look at the queue. We did the right thing. Whilst walking around the other side, we find ourselves in a wooden shelter. Nice. Complete with electric. Oh, raffle results. And the winning number is zero zero nine zero. If you have 009088, it's worth £119. Bring your winning ticket to the turnstile up. Thank you. Well, Hunter, when the raffle at the football continues, when will it happen? Will it happen? Who knows? So after taking a walk to the nearest bin, it turns out that the nearest bin was actually right next to us. Just in case anyone forgot where we were, there you go. As I spot Bobby Boucher, the second half, he's up on us. Another dog at the football. Hello. Now continue to keep this place looking beautiful. The essentials are two, football are three. Roy is well and truly sorted. There's a Royston goal scorer and Olympic gold medal winner, Jonathan Edwards. As you see, we're trying to get closer to the action. We're right by the benches as we kick off for the second half. That's all right, early. Yeah, well, <laughs> this, this league's so hard as well. Yeah. Random conversation there, but Davey's got a big one. Pass it on. Currently watching the game through the bench, not on the bench, not at the bench, through it. I can't really comment. My car wins is just as dirty. There's a Royston chance. Oh. Here you go. Oh. Got a bit crowded there, so we wow. That is brave there. That is brave. Yeah, he moved on. A little bit crowded, so we've got a little bit of space. Social distancing and all that jazz. I need a big head. Oh, yes. Not quite what we're after. I need another big head. There you go. Royston dominating things right now. Oh, that's oh. Yep, still dominating. There we go. Oh. Bang. Oh! Despite some fantastic work, substitution made, and it was on a digital suds board. I uploaded this photo to my Instagram, didn't I? You can follow me up there if you want. 148 of you can tell your partners you're in the one minute club. So the sun's come out and it's in the eyes of Starbridge, but that ain't stopped them coming forward this time. 16 on the wing, puts it across to the 17. Shots! Oh. Mm. Starbridge team enough, looks like they're bringing on Jack Grealish. In other news, we've got an injury. Physio coming on with a bit of a hobble. We've got a physio for the physio. Hey, come round the back. 
Can anyone stop coming around the back? Brilliant. Davey, the photographer, has literally just sat down next to his own name. Looks like these lads have seen enough. Either that or they're looking to beat the Royston Rush. You can queue for hours to get out of this place. Or you can just slip out the back gate. If you see yourself in the comments of Instagram, then great. If not, then I do apologise. Gotta be quick. Gotta be on it. Just wondering if we're gonna get a winner in this game. Ah, uh, it was soft, wasn't it? Game's gone. Game's gone. Game's gone. Not long left in this one. Royston, come forward. Oh. Oh. Yes, no! That was soft and all. Game's gone. Game's gone. Game's gone. And after that, it just sort of, yeah, died. Finished. Game over. No! I assume this was locked, but you can actually slip out the back door. As for us, we're going the long way round. Is that Hamburg? On the road stickers coming very soon. All right, see you later, mate. It's been good. I've had a lovely set of pins on Graham there. Oh, it was... Oh, okay. All right, one last time before we go. Fippo! Yeah, as we get the hell out of here, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. And as per usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. How was it? It was... It was a bit flat. I'm going to be generous and give him one and a half. Next up, the facilities. I like this ground. Nice little ground. Good little setup they've got here. I love the back gate feature for the days you're getting pummeled 4-0. Just slip out the back. Yeah, go on. We're going to give this one three and a half stars. Next up, we find ourselves at food and drink. That was a beast of a burger. It really was. I think it was above average, but we're not screaming like five stars or four stars. I reckon it's around a three and a half star burger, along with the chips as well. But don't forget, they're winners at Royston. They supplied the Dr. Pepper. They've gained another half a star. It's four stars on the food and drink. But we're talking cost. Yes, we might have spent a little bit more, but that was because we were desperate to win a raffle. And yes, Again, I spent a little bit more because I wanted a half pounder instead of a quarter pounder. Cheap price on the tickets as well, tenner to get in. Can't argue with it. It's non league prices. It's five stars. You can see from the table that puts him in sick. 14 points, decent score still. And just like that, my friends, Royston Town have written into the On the Road archives. So what's he saying? Okay, this way. We approach this suspicious building again. One can only assume what's inside. Nice bit of lavender out the front, though. Nice touch. After a bit of a debrief, the players make their way back to the changing rooms. I do feel like they should have won that today, though. See you later, Jerry. Have a good one. Yep, yeah, it's up the garden walk. Just clock this and just clock that. What? That. Happy Halloween. It's quite nice round here, isn't it? We get back to the car park. I can't I can't really find my keys. I'm just approaching the car and um, yeah, it all becomes clear. <laughs> it did. Keys <laughs> in the car. <laughs> oh. That's really bad. Let's get out of here. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. We want to get back to back wins. 10,000 likes, please, people. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. As always, a huge shout out to our sponsors for the season. It's Utilita Energy. Powering British football. Powering this series. Thank you very much. And as I always say, I will see you in the next one.